a spewing graphically violent squirrels. It's like me, except for the squirrel part. But we begin with the fifth ace combat game. I didn't even know there was a fourth ace combat game. And why should you, unless you're a flying fan? Now, the series started way back on the PlayStation, and now it's once again returning to the PS2, which makes it one of those rare flying sims that isn't on the PC. Here's a review of Ace Combat 5, The Unsung War. Mm. We're rocking over here. You know, yeah. sometimes licensed music is great. Now, the Grand Theft Auto soundtrack, for example. And sometimes you get Puddle of Mud, which is still better than the late 1999, early 2000 era, where every game released used Rob Zombie's Dragula. See, we think that song's about a vampire car, which runs on clean, burning, environmentally friendly blood. It's like the Toyota Prius of the damn. Whimsical, isn't it? Yeah. Much like our next game, which started as a hand-animated flash game on the internet. It became so popular, they released it on the PS2. But can a flash game really be compelling on the consoles? Find out when we review Alien Hominid. Wow. The lobby couch thing explains why the janitorial staff know so much about your uh, abandonment issues. Yeah, there's that one guy with the mop. He tried to prescribe me Lexapro, but clearly, I'm a Paxil man. I want meds, meds. Physical with Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. That's, that's, that's the extent of it for me, <laughs> Welcome back to X-Play. Adam and I have been accused of being self-indulgent celebrities who only think of themselves. And in Adam's case, that's sort of true. But Morgan likes to visit gamers who are giving something back to the world. Yes, this time it's the guys who write and illustrate Penny Arcade, the online comic stream about gaming that's read by millions of gamers every day. Last year, the Penny Arcade guys set up a charity called Child's Play that sent more than $250,000 in toys, game, and cash to sick kids at Seattle Children's Hospital. So I flew to Seattle to take part in this year's annual charity auction and find out more about Penny Arcade and Child's Play. I'm here in Seattle, Washington for the first annual Child's Play Dinner and Auction. Now, Child's Play is a charity that gives toys and games to children at the Seattle Children's Hospital. It was started by the guys who write and draw Penny Arcade. While primarily known for mocking just about anything and everyone in the game industry, Child's Play represent Gabe and Tycho's noble sides. I essentially wanted to come up with a way to at the same time combat negative portrayals of gamers in the media, but we also wanted to help out this local hospital and we thought we'd do something small and then build up to a larger one next year, but last year turned out about $250,000. We're gamers, so we look at that as sort of a high score. That's something that we have to beat this year, um, and I think that we will, I mean, especially after tonight. Aside from several snappily dressed gamers, the evening boasts a silent auction for game-related goods, as well as a live auction emceed by the boys themselves. We are going to start the bidding for this at $150. That's two year subscription and the signed collector's edition. That's very professional. Well, I do this all the time. Items up for bid included a lifetime subscription to Steam, signed editions of games, this awesome Halo 2 gift basket, and tours of Nintendo and Bungie Studios. You get to go hang out at Bungie Studios, see how they do uh, what it is. Viewers at home. It's not, it's not that difficult. Uh, if you just good, because go we're not really good at things that are that hard. Understood, understood. Uh, basically, if you go to uh, www.childsplaycharity.org, um, it'll come up to a, a big map, and there are actually five member hospitals this year. Uh, just choose the one that's closest to you. It'll, it'll take you over to a page where you can choose some toys, and they'll be delivered directly to the hospital. Is there anything else you guys want to uh, tell the audience? Uh, probably just thank everyone who already donated Child's Play either this year or last year. Uh, we, we really appreciate it and we know the Children's Hospital appreciates it. So you guys got that? That's childsplaycharity.org. It's one word. It's a good cause. Get out there and donate some video games and some toys to some kids who really, really need it. If you'd like to contribute to the Child's Play Charity or find out more, visit their website. www.childsplaycharity.org You know, it makes me feel good that there are people out there really making a difference. And I'm happy we could spotlight their efforts on our show and show that gamers aren't all about senseless violence and depravity. Me too. Up next, a game about shooting people and a bunch of profanity spewing squirrels. Oh yeah, that is so true. Welcome back to X-Play, where apathy is a lifestyle. Ever since Grand Theft Auto 3 came out, people have been trying to imitate its success. For example, Rogue Kill, which is GTA with more blood. True Crime, Streets of LA, or GTA with Snoop Dogg. And Driver 3, GTA that totally sucks. Now there's a sequel to 2003's The Getaway, or GTA with Crumpets. Here's our preview of The Getaway, Black Monday. Interface where the screen isn't all clogged up with a bunch of stats and symbols. Isn't that right, Morgan? 
Huh, yeah, yeah, of, of course it is. Yeah, that's where he had all the In a moment, and Morgan Webb. Sorry to disappoint. Welcome back to X-Play. There's one game that captured the imagination of every single person here at X-Play. It was Conker's Bad Fur Day for the N64. It was developed by Rare and was based on Conker's 12 Tales for the Game Boy Color, which was an annoyingly saccharine platformer for the kiddies. Now, as legend has it, the developers at Rare were told to make a spin-off for the N64. But since they had just finished the overly cutesy Banjo-Kazooie game, they decided to take the adorable little squirrel and put it in one of the violent, most violent, most offensive, and downright funniest games the N64 had ever seen. Now, to put it in context, the game features a singing piece of poop. Bah. Now the folks at Rare have remade that cult classic for the Xbox. And we couldn't be happier. Here's our preview of Conquer, Line and Reloaded. Whoa! We, we really do have a bowl. <laughs> If you'd like to contribute to the Child's Play charity or find out more about them, check out their website. www.childsplaycharity.org And on January 1st, we're showing an X-Play marathon, but you don't have to run. Yeah, X-Play all day. I am really sorry. You know, if you're hungover, you want my mug in your face, don't no, you? So go wait. online now to vote for the episodes you want to see. G4TechTV.com slash X-Play. I mean, we really do have a bowl with the pin pad. That tells us what we can or cannot do. Yeah, uh -huh. you know when PETA finds out about the bowl with the pin pad, they're gonna get a little annoyed. I didn't employ him, he's just one that screws around underneath my desk and nibbles on my toe. Whoa! 